photoelectric effect let's discuss this photoelectric effect is first of all let me tell you that this effect is observed in the case of metals with low ionization energy like alkali metals okay and in al alkali metals also potassium and cesium are the most uh, widely uh, used uh, for in photoelectric cells okay now what happens in photoelectric effect that we take a metal surface and these metal surface obviously have electrons okay when light of a uh, suitable frequency strikes the surface okay these electrons absorb energy from the light and they come out from the metal surface which are then used uh, uh, to uh, which are then allowed to flow through wire conductors and stored in the form of electrical energy or used to uh, do some electrical work so the main thing is when the light uh, strikes the metal surface electron absorb that energy and comes out in the form of photo electrons okay the electrons coming out from the surface are called photo electrons so if I, if someone asks what is photoelectric effect it is the effect that when light strikes on the surface of a metal electrons absorb that energy and come out from the surface of the metal and what is criteria those metals which have very low ionization energy such low ionization energy that that is uh, the, the energy is uh, uh, easily available from the sunlight itself or any other kind of light so when the photon or the light strike the surface electrons come out in the form of photoelectrons called photoelectric effect okay now it has been observed that it is not like uh, we can use any type of light for the photoelectric effect it is not so we have we, we required a specific light of specific wavelength for specific metal okay Met now there is requirement of a minimum amount of energy for photo electrons to come out okay so it's not like any any light of any wavelength or frequency will work we require a specific amount of energy and the energy depends upon energy depends upon energy of the photon depends upon its frequency so if we require a minimum amount of energy that minimum amount of energy is called threshold energy then there would be requirement of a minimum amount of frequency called threshold frequency okay fine now if we provide energy to the metal surface okay electrons will come out but if the energy is greater than the minimum amount of energy required that is threshold energy this is the minimum amount of energy required and this is the energy given if the amount of energy given is more than the amount of energy required for just electron to come out this energy will be split in two part first is obviously the minimum amount of energy which is required for the electron to come out and then the remaining energy remaining energy would be converted into kinetic energy of the photoelectrons the equation becomes like this energy given is equal to the uh, the threshold energy plus kinetic energy of photoelectrons the energy given is h nu minimum amount of energy required is h nu naught kinetic energy of the electrons is 1 by 2 mass of electron into velocity of photoelectron now this equation was given by einstein 
and this is the base equation for photoelectric effect. This is called threshold energy. Threshold energy or also known as work function. This is the amount of energy given. This is the threshold energy plus 1 by 2 mv mv square that is kinetic energy of the electron okay i hope the photoelectric effect was clear to you stay tuned and for more videos on physical chemistry or any other other, other topic of chemistry stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and we'll appreciate if you give your feedback in the comment section thank you